Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in a windy St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2024 Volkswagen Atlas Crossport SE with technology 4 motion turbo. This particular one is deep black pearl effect on the exterior with Titan black leatherette on the interior. Lots of upgrades to talk about here as we take a look around the car. This car comes with LED headlights, LED turn signals and reverse lights, LED running lights, an LED light bar across the top right here. A light up Volkswagen logo illuminated in white right here. This much more aggressive front grille right here and this aggressive chin on the bottom. Air intakes on both sides. Keyless entry on all four doors. This one's decked out with black alloy wheels, 20 inch black alloy wheels, the black wheel package that adds and a little bit of extra money to the car, but it's well worth it on the car. This one also comes equipped with a panoramic sunroof, the typical silver Atlas nameplate on the back here, the only place on the car where it says Atlas. The new expanded LED tail light across the back here. An LED lit, lit up logo right there that lights up in red at night. A 5,000 pound tow hitch. Yes, even though this is a four cylinder turbo, it does pull 5,000 pounds. Seven pin adapters included right there. Dual faux exhaust tips at the base underneath the oversized reflector. This is the fourth model year for the Crossport and its first refresh. Well overdue. Let's take a look inside as it said, you see the cross, Crossport flare there. Here's where all the upgrades happen. Door inset, leatherette trim right here that's perforated. Wood grain type texture here on this metallic finish. Actually, it's more brushed aluminum finish right here. Uh, this silver finish on the door handles here. Contrast stitching down here on the arm pad is trimmed out in leatherette, black leatherette there. And you have a power lift gate down here. Lift up on that button right there. There goes your power lift gate. You can also lift up and hold on this button and that will also close that lift gate so you can do contactless pickup easily in this car. Right from the driver's seat. Power lumbar right here, forward back up and down right here, seat back adjust here. Here's a look at that new seat. Still leatherette, it's a diamond stitch right here, it's perforated. The seats are now heated and ventilated. Dual contrast stitch band down the side here, goes right up the bolster here. And then also this carbon fiber pattern on this little stretch right here, this little uh, patches fabric here that goes up into the bolster. Manually adjusted headrests up here at the top. Dual contrast stitching right there as well. And as we go ahead and climb in here, and the seat belt's bucket here, be buckled here now because now, as part of the upgrade here, the new Atlas and Crossport have a seat belt reminder that doesn't stop until you buckle the seat. So rather than have that play through the entire video, I'm gonna buckle that seat belt there. Your headlight adjusts now. Now it's not a knob, it's a switch right here. You also have the auto settings here, different modes where you can go. There's your lights, parking lights, and then auto or off and then auto. Most people are gonna leave it on auto and forget it. It shows you right there as well on the screen. Core weather lights right here, they work like fogs. They actually help light your peripherals. And then you also have your max defrost here and your rear defrost over here. The mirrors are still heated. They are paired with that rear defrost right there so they'll come on when needed. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave the lights on so we can see the light bar when we get done. And there's that reminder, low beams are on. Vent set up here, they made it a double vent here. They're split, kind of like the headlights, they're stacked. So you got one vent going this way, one going this way if you prefer, rather than having everything go one direction here. That's a nice upgrade. Flat silver finish around the edges here with piano black around that. That brushed aluminum finish continues across the dash from the door behind the 12 inch screen here. We'll get that in a second, it goes into the door. Panel over here on this side, another stack, another stack vent over there. And then down below right here, you have two vents down below the infotainment system right here. Very nice. Digital cockpit right here. This has been standard for a couple years now, but color now, more color here. Rather than just blue, uh, you got different color. Well, actually, I should change that. I should re re retract that. Uh, you still get blue here. It's a different shade of blue, more of a turquoise color here, but you got different options here. So you can hit view right here. There's one view there with the blocks, and then that's your uh, assistance systems or your adaptive cruise control. Then you have this one where you do speedometer. You can actually arrow down and change what's displayed. Actually, not on this screen, but you go to this next screen. This is uh, 
uh, driving data and what have you here. So there's a speedometer, driving data, and then of course a date and time right there in the middle. You can also change using the left tab or the right tab here. What's displayed in the left wheel or the left dial or the right dial. By hitting the right tab, you go to the right. By hitting the left tab, you go to the left. And you can arrow up and change what's displayed there. Most people are gonna go with tank display, a fuel tank display. Speaking of fuel tank display, it is now different. Instead of having a gauge over here, you now have this guy right here. And as you consume fuel, this line disappears here. And it'll give you a mile range, as in miles to empty. That's also showing up down here. Not one of my favorite changes there, but it's a change all the nonetheless. And I do have that on my Golf R, and I've just gotten used to it. So it's it's different, but hey, it, it does it, it's not a deal killer or anything like that by any stretch. Volkswagen logo right here in the center. Paddle shifters, left and right side right here on a steering wheel. It's a telescoping steering wheel. I can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it where I want. More piano black up here and across underneath the radio here and then down below right down here and piano black here too. Keep a micro microfiber cloth candy in your car. You're gonna, you're gonna want that. There's more piano black there, brushed aluminum right there, a brushed aluminum finish, I should say. The storage bin up here is now gone. There's a speaker up here. This is a very nice setup though. On a steering wheel, cruise control setup is right here. The on off switch, it shows up right there to show that it's on, uh, but not active. It'll turn green when it's active. Travel assist, now is uh, on, on the uh, Atlas Crossport. So travel assist is gonna help you out at your semi-autonomous driving. The steering wheel will actually kind of drive the car itself, but you're not encouraged to take your hands off the wheel in any way, shape, or form. Semi-autonomous, so please keep your hands on the wheel. Volume control right here. Left and right, uh, up and down right here. And then over on this side, song skip and preset skip. So the steering wheel still laid out the same. Flat silver finish across the front. Uh, piano black down here at the base of the steering wheel. We have yet to see the SEL or the R line, uh, SEL R line or even SEL premium R line for crossboard yet, but they're coming. So stay tuned to the channel, you'll get a good look at those. Let's talk about this infotainment screen. Gesture control is still here. Yes, you can wave your hand in front of it. Your kids think you're a Jedi. Pretty cool. All right. So the thing you're going to notice if I move my hand back across here, it says navigation right there. This car does not come equipped with navigation. These tiles are customizable. So to get rid of this tile here so your friends don't all know, hey, we don't have navigation on your car. You cheaped out. I learned this from a, I, I learned this from a, uh, a comment on YouTube. So I can touch. Oh, it's not going to let me do it now. Touch and hold. There is the trash can. I can actually uh, delete that tile. And then I'll have other tiles here. So I'm not going to delete that. I'll let that be the first owner of this car. Messages here. So it shows that I'm out of fuel here or almost out of fuel. I can swipe across. Tire pressures are right there. Oil level is okay. Also radio right here. AM, FM, and satellite radio is standard on the car along with internet radio. Telephone right here. You can program at least two phones here. I believe it's up to four still. Um, now the other thing that you're going to notice here. Back to the steering wheel for a second. There's a heated wheel icon right here heated steering wheel that is now standard on the car heated steering wheel is standard down here you see these little fans on the seat icon that's a ventilated seat that's a ventilated seat both driver and passenger now have a ventilated front seat what heated seats both driver and passenger that's been a standard for for the entire inception of the of the crossport but ventilated ventilated seats are now standard on every trim so are heated, heated steering wheels. Uh, so that's very nice. And then it's multi-phase, so I can use that to turn it off. Air care is standard on these cars. That is your air filtration system. The filters are gonna scrub out any kind of nasty, stinky air before it circulates in the cabin. They work fantastic. Try it. Smart climate. Now you've got clear view, warm feet, hands. It knows the outside temperature. It's gonna give you warm feet, warm hands when that's an option. Obviously, it's 100 degrees today that's not going to be an option so they're they're grayed out a classic climate so it's all your controls here you can adjust your fan speed right here i had it on max but i will turn that down a little bit there and you also have your sink where you can turn it on and off and you can have individual temperatures on both driver and passenger sink just pairs them together uh, now you do also get 
App Connect, which allows you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink wirelessly on this system. So we're going to show you that. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You also get wireless charging down here. The wireless charging pad for your phone is right here. And then over on this side, two more USB-Cs right here. So there's two USB-Cs right here. There's one up here on the side of the mirror, if you can see that right there. That is for a third-party dash cam. Volkswagen thought outside the box and gave you a USB-C for the dash cam. All right, to close this guy right here, just push, and that shuts right there. Your start button now is a rectangular button right here. It says start, stop. Just push on that button there to start and stop. Your park button is now a push button right here, and your shifter is a, a shift by wire shifter. It's this little nub shifter right here. I can put down, push down on the brake to go into gear. Now I'm in drive, there's neutral, and there's reverse. And reverse, I still get trajectory steering. I can turn the wheel left, I can turn the wheel right. The yellow line moves accordingly. The red line stays put, the green line signifies straight back. You also get this animation right here because you got park distance control here. So there's park sensors in the front and also the rear of the car. And this little animation, little lines will show up as an object gets closer. It shows it encroaching on the car and then the pitch and tone change. You can also um, turn this off. So if you're in a car wash or something like that, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in park again. You can also turn that off just by hitting that X there. Now, uh, stereo system. It's AM, FM, and satellite. Your sound control is all right here. Focus, you can actually change this. You have a baby or a kid sleeping in the back. You can move it around so it's not affecting the kid there. And just hit center to bring it back. Uh, now, um, this touchscreen, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of uproar about the touchscreen and the fact that it doesn't have knobs. There's more than one way to get to anything. Volume control over here on a steering wheel. Song skip and preset skip right here. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay you have your touchscreen in interface right there. You do get sliders right here to adjust your temperature too. So you can tap right here on the blue to go cooler, the red to go warmer, same on both sides. And you have a volume control slider right here. Now the one drawback to this, this is not backlit. This little portion right at the base of the screen here. I have that in my Golf R, not necessarily a fan of that, but they probably will change that over time. But you can see, this is a pretty intuitive screen here. And it's pretty quick too. So it's not, it's not buggy like uh, they were in the beginning. Climate control. There's a fast key right there. You hit that button that brings you up here to climb a button. Assist systems brings you up to your driver assist systems where you can scroll down here. Adaptive cruise control, lane assist. Lane assist is currently off. Lane change system. Autonomous emergency braking and emergency assist. Those are all ac accessed right here. You do have a parking menu too. So the park pilot or park pilot is uh, the park sensors front and rear. Uh, you go to the higher trims, you're going to get park assist. Cup holders right here. One slightly uh, lower than the other. They drop down just a little bit there. But just piano black around here, you're going to get drip marks and stains and things like that right there. So make sure you keep that microfiber cloth handy there. A little storage bin right here to store some th loose things in here. I guess this makes up for the one that's now gone up here. In the armrest here, this is slightly smaller now. There's a USB-C in here as well, so there's four up front. So you can get a medium-sized person here probably still, even though they cut the corner of this a little bit, they angled it here towards the passenger seat over here. Speaking of a passenger seat, this seat is going to be manually adjusted. Here is the loop to slide the seat forward and back down here on the floor. You can see that right there. Over here on the left side, Two handles are now present. You can raise and lower the seat in a pumping fashion. And then this guy here adjusts the seat back, the seat back pitch. Raise and lower the seat, even on the SE Tech Atlas, full size, you now have height adjustment on the passenger seat. That's a big change. Uh, manuals and tire warranty are right here in the glove box for you. There's that piano black paired up against that brushed aluminum finish there. This particular one has an auto dimming home link mirror as well with three door garage door memory, digital compass, and a Bluetooth button right there. All of these cars come with lane assist. Lane assist is back on the SE Tech Atlas Cross Sport and Atlas. So uh, it used to be on the Atlas in 2020 and in 2021 when a new Cross Sport came out, they deleted it from that trim. Here's your vanity mirror right here with an LED light above on both sides. You have that nice dark black headliner here. As I said, this one comes with a sunroof. There was that mirror again right there. Well, this one does come with a panoramic sunshade and a sunroof. So now you'll swipe to go back. 
there's your sunshade right there. There goes the sunroof. You have dual swipe pads here, one for the sunshade, one for the sunroof. The one on the left is the sunroof, the one on the right is the sunshade. And that sunshade will go all the way back, just like it did before, just a different control for it. Pop-up windscreen right here, very nice. Let's take a look at the back seat. Before we climb into the back here, here's a look at those wheels. We'll look at the window sticker here. This one comes in at 46,676. Extras on this one include 1200 bucks for the power tilting sunroof, black wheel package for 595, auto dimming home link mirror for 405, 296 bucks for the monster mats and cargo blocks, 275 for prepaid maintenance. Uh, that gives you the third year prepaid maintenance. 1350 for destination brings you to 46,676. As we climb in the back here, another change right here. There is now a sunshade in every cross sport for the rear doors, not just the premium over there as well. Sunshade built in just like Atlas. More of that metallic finish right here on the door panel, the flat silver finish for the door handles. And now there's a bottom to these door handles down a hole that goes right through. So on the Atlas and older versions here, this was a hole right through here where you'd have to have drop in trays in the pockets for the door. So now that's a solid hole right there, or solid pocket right there. Storage right here, and then bottle and cup storage down here. Here's a look at the seats in the back. There are also that diamond stitch pattern on the two outboard seats. Leatherette all the way across. The, the middle seat there is just a flat finish there. As we climb in the back here, lots of room here. Leg room, like a quad cab pickup truck or king cab. Very, very good room here. Except, exceptional space here. There's a look at my boring socks today. They're actually breaking bad socks. Pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this door here. Your vents back here, they added uh, a flat silver finish trim around that so it doesn't look so basic there. Storage bin right here. And then you do have two more USB-Cs right here and a three-prong plug-in right there. So if you didn't notice, the 12 volt charger port up front is gone. You get five USBs for this car. There's a look at that giant panoramic sunroof again. These seats do recline. They don't fold, they don't uh, slide forward and back. Car seat hookups right here and right here. So you have two car seat hookups, fold down armrest in the middle, squishy yet firm. This is how you know you have a new car right here. Squishy yet firm on that, that armrest there. Adjustable seat or headrest on all three seats. There's a look at the detail on the door right there. Contrast stitching in the leatherette is perforated on the door inset there. And also a single band of contrast stitching right there on that arm pad there. More storage for bottles and cups down there as well. But look at this leg room. I was just sitting in that seat up front and I'm allegedly six foot one, uh, but shrinking and I fired the doctor for telling me that. There's a look at the instrument cluster and the center console right there. Very nice, the armrest, everything is just upgraded here in this car. There's a look at the mirror there as well. Let's take a look at the rear hatch. There's another look at that alloy wheel right there. Very nice. As we come around to the back, the power lift gate is activated by a little switch between the, a and the, the T and the L, I should say. LED lights for the trunk lights in the back on both sides. There's your 12 volt right there. You have one in the back. So if you're camping or something like that, you've got a 12 volt charger there. Bag hook right here and also right here. Monster mats right there. Cargo blocks right there. And here's a look through from the back to the front panoramic sunroof the car carpet squares right here cargo protection system here and your spare tire and jack apparatus is off to the side so there are a lot of changes abound here as we close that up with that power lift gate a lot of changes to the atlas craftsport i guess i hope you caught them all but man they upgraded this car a ton if you're interested in this car give me a call 636-290-4257 636-290-4257. This car comes with a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That includes three years of free maintenance. Also, if you buy from me at Bomb Radio St. Peter's, we're going to give you an additional three years of free maintenance or a total of six free years of maintenance on this car. Now, those remaining three years are free only at my dealership. And as a plane flies overhead, remember, you can fly in and drive out. I'll pick you up at the airport. They probably don't need picked up. They're, private, they're flying a private plane. But... Drive in, or fly in and drive out. I'll pick you up at the airport. Again, four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on the car. Also, a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 
if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's. 10 years, 200,000 miles, nationwide engine and powertrain warranty, free of charge. If you're interested in this car or another one like it, give me a call, 636-290-4257. If you're looking for a higher trim, we can order that car for you as well. The SEL, SEL R-Line, and SEL Premium R-Line. I will tell you this, demand has been high on this car already. Give me a call. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.